Speaking of traffic backed up, Walton Street and Armory Square is going to be shut down tomorrow for a celebration and the long lines expected. It's Syracuse's first ever licensed marijuana shop. Customers will be lining up because it's the uh, legalizing pot has been in the making, but still very new to many people. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan takes us inside Flintstone. These buds look amazing and they smell even better. Just 10 years ago, Katrina Aiello remembers pot being so taboo it would halt a day of high school. Some kid maybe even just smelling like it, you know, shut it down. Everyone in their classrooms, you know, we've got the dogs here. So it's just crazy to see it, you know, we have it open in a store now. She's the manager of that store now just hours away from Syracuse's first legal marijuana sales ever. Everybody has been, you know, blowing up the phone. Are you open yet? Are you open yet? There were people, there were 30 people that showed up to the door last Friday, thinking that we were opening last Friday. Once they are open, a computer scan of each customer's ID will verify their age, 21 and older, and track the amount of pot purchased, legally limited to three ounces per day. Once in the showroom upstairs, bud tenders walk people through the flavors and formats. Flowers, joints, vapes, gummies, drinks, even coffee beans. Some people are a little bit hesitant when it comes to inhalants, so usually I like to start off the people that are a little bit more hesitant to stuff like that with ingestible products. Flintstone has a third floor that won't be open to the public just yet. It's designed as a cafe where customers can consume their cannabis, but that's not allowed yet under New York state law. It might be by the end of the year. Is there still a taboo at all? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Well, how do you feel about that? Um, I, it's gotten easier to deal with, um, especially since it's been legalized, obviously. Um, you know, you can, you can walk down the street appropriately at appropriate times, obviously, and light up a joint or what have you if you'd like, um, and not really get any looks now, which is great. For people less accepting, she hopes this store will help normalize her passion for everyone. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And Walton Street will be closed tomorrow and Saturday for the dispensary's grand opening block party, including a ribbon cutting at 420 tomorrow and several concerts. Bring your cash. Flintstone doesn't accept credit cards yet.